Mr. Didat, yesterday you said it was different between numbers, and uh, uh, Jesus said that me and the Father, we are one, is the first I will say. And uh, today you said that you respect Jesus, you love Jesus, and you believe what he said. And uh, I want, please, Mr. Stan, if you can read one word from the Bible. I think it's Johannes 16. Ingen kan komma till fadern utom genom mig. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is what Jesus said. Yes, I wanted, you wanted to know what Jesus had said, and I will tell you that. Your question, please. Uh, I will repeat what I understood, that uh, with regards to the divinity of Christ, that Jesus is God, I was asking the pastor to give me an unequivocal, unambiguous statement by Jesus that I am God, worship me. And thank God he didn't succeed. But now the lady, very fairly, she's asking a question, if I understood it correctly, that Jesus did say, I and my father are one. That was the first statement. Was it? Where's the lady? She's, I and my father are one. Now, it implies that if he is one with God, then he is God. That is what it sees, seen on the face of it. I says, you know, sister or pastor, this quotation is in John chapter 10, verse 30. 10, 30. Where Jesus says, I and my father are one. He said that. I am asking, what is the context and believe me, I have asked DDs and priests and reverends and pastors and predicants. I'm asking what is the context, meaning in what sense did he say that? And in the past 40 years, I haven't come across a single learned Christian who without opening the book can give me the context. He has not been able to give yet. What is the context? So if you see it in the context, it's not what you're thinking. In the context we must see verses, not take them out from the context and say, look, the man said this. In what sense did he say? What was he trying to explain? So in the context, I said, start with John 23, 10, 23. And you read there, it says, and Jesus walked in Solomon's porch, meaning in the temple of Jerusalem. Then came the Jews round about him, meaning they surrounded him, and said, brandishing a finger in his face. How long does thou make us to doubt? If, thee, if thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Insinuating, alleging, that he's talking ambiguously. If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. So Jesus says, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Neither, verse, that was verse 28, verse 29, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. I and my father are one. This is the context. In other words, if once a person accepts faith, God sees to it that the person remains in faith, and I as a teacher, as a master, as a, uh, uh, I see to it that the person remains in faith, we are one in this, to see that the person remains in faith. Not in his omnipotence, not in his omniscience, not in his what? Knowledge, nothing. He's talking about the oneness of purpose in seeing that the believer remains in faith. But the Jews were looking for trouble. And when you are looking for trouble, you find it around the corner. You don't have to go very far. So the Jews, verse 31, the Jews picked up stones again to stone him. So Jesus says, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? So they say, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, kufar. Because that thou being a man, makest thyself a god. That is the charge. That you are now claiming divinity. For that you deserve death, according to the law of the Jews. What does Jesus say to that? If he was God, he has an opportunity to say, look, if I am God, what else can I say? You ask me, are you Muslim? I, 
I said, look, I'm a Muslim. I have to say I'm a Muslim. I don't know what you're going to do with that now. What are you going to do to me? But you say, are you a Muslim? I say, I'm a Muslim. If Jesus is God, then he should say, if I'm God, what else can I say? But he didn't say anything like that. He said, is it not written in your law? Second Psalm, he said, I said, ye are gods. It's a quotation. If he, God Almighty, called them gods unto whom the word of God came, means the prophets are called gods in our scripture. This is our language. This is how we talk. Like in a court of law in an English court.